The next presenter is Grace Heffernan, who is a master's student in biomedical engineering. And the title of Grace's presentation is Shining Light on Heart Disease. Imagine you're in high school, running down the soccer field at full speed. Your lungs burn and legs ache with each movement. But you don't care. Nothing matters more than running and winning. Flash forward six months. You're tired, breathless, and bleacher sprints are a lot harder than you remember. You tell yourself, it's just a phase, that you haven't been practicing enough in the off season. Tomorrow, you'll be back to normal. Suddenly, you wake up in the hospital, not knowing how you got there. Your parents are crying as the doctor tries to talk to you, but you stopped listening at the words, life-threatening heart disease. Any second now, you'll wake up from this nightmare. Genetic cardiomyopathy affects one in 500 people worldwide and is the leading cause of sudden cardiac death. This disease causes heart muscle to stretch and thicken reducing the heart's ability to pump blood efficiently to the rest of the body. It is caused by abnormal genes or mutations that change the shape of heart muscle. Now, despite its severity, there's currently no cure for genetic cardiomyopathy, and the medical therapy that is available only acts to relieve a patient's pain without dealing with the cause of the condition. A main question stopping treatment development is how do genetic cardiomyopathy mutations change heart muscle? This question can only be answered if the organization and mechanics of the proteins that make up a normal heart are fully known. Genetic cardiomyopathy mutations, however, are found in cardiac proteins whose structures we still do not fully understand. In my research, I focus on defining the structure of one of these proteins, troponin T. And to do that, I use a technique known as fluorescence, resonance, energy transfer, or FRET. FRET acts as a molecular ruler that uses energy from light to give the distance between two proteins. First, I add a molecule that gives off energy when hit by light to troponin T. I then shine a light on this molecule, which causes energy to be transferred to a different protein in the heart. And this transfer of energy is directly linked to the distance between these two proteins. So, why does this matter? Knowing the distance that troponin T is from other proteins in a healthy heart helps us piece together muscle structure. And once we know this, we can then identify where mutations change the structure and create medications that target these areas. Patients suffering from genetic cardiomyopathy never wake up from their nightmare. Understanding distance changes between proteins in the heart will bring us one step closer to finding a cure that wakes them up. Thank you.